Okay, we got a little bumper job here. I'll try to set you up on the uh, can cam. And uh, I based it out with some uh, paint I had in the cabinet. Getting ready to hit it with some of the uh, paint I got at the paint store. I bought uh, four ounces, which was eight dollars and uh, some change. So uh, give me eight ounces sprayable, and uh, that'll be enough to cover up this uh, base I put on here and get the color match. We'll clear it after this, and we'll be done with this one. I have to. Uh, glue the grill back in see it's pushed back there a little bit i wanted to make sure you get color underneath it but i got some epoxy 88 i'm going to try to glue that back together the best i can and uh send it so here we go Using the Sakola. Let's go make some clear coat up. We'll hit that when we get back one more time. Excuse the, excuse the mess, man. There's where we use some Omni on that. <clears throat> Omni by PPG. So we'll see how that matches up. Andrea said she mixed it, so it should match good. I have really good luck with her uh, mixing paint. And normally if you have uh, the same person mixing on the same bank all the time, you don't have an issue. So we're going to go with some 4 to 1. we we'll use one of these little cups. We're going to try to uh, get my material use under control. Mm-hmm. Let me set you guys up. Set you guys up here on the uh camera stand. Not. Anyway. Just like old days in the dungeon, huh boys? Uh, hey, while you guys are watching this video, if you like this kind of stuff, go check out my buddy Velvet Hammer. Check out some of his videos he's putting up. He uh, does all kinds of stuff. And uh, he's recently put some paint videos up. And he stepped his quality way, way up. So he's doing some really sweet work. 
Go give him a look-see. That's the velvet hammer on the YouTube. Never did ask him where he got the velvet hammer from, but I'm sure if somebody asked him, they might tell us. Check his channel out. DC671, it's the hardener. Four to one. We'll mix this up and let it meet together like a good potato salad while we're finishing up that base. Cause then I gotta clean that gun out. <clears throat> Cause I've been using my uh, gun for the base and the clear. Cause I'm lazy. I need to buy a cup for my other gun. I have one new Sokola minus a cup. I gave somebody a cup for some reason, and now I don't have one. And uh, I need to take care of that. Anyway, this stuff's pretty thick. It's a four to one clear, but it's a uh, very full body. So. Uh, like a good like a good beer all right let's go put one more coat on this bad boy we'll call it done bring the paint mask with us so we don't die from intoxication but uh that's how she's looking this will basically be uh there's a little boo-boo right there at the end of the bumper cover i gotta put a little there and uh same on this side. Normally I don't like to get up there by the fender, you know, on a bumper. I used to like to be a blend area <laughs> so it matches, but that wasn't the luxury this time. So we're really dependent on the color to match here. So uh, let's set you guys up, put one more coat on here, and then we'll clear this in. Dizzy. Some of you guys like this kind of stuff, though. So, you know, I gotta give everybody something. Mm -hmm. I apologize. We'll try to make this better as, you know, we start making more videos. I have to uh, find a camera stand. One of my camera equipment got uh, appropriated to other people somehow. And uh, I no longer have a uh, camera stand. I had a really nice one. I think Mr. GW Big or Mr. VW Gigolo had sent me years ago. And uh, that disappeared, so. I'm gonna get this cleaned out with some lacquer thinner and we'll go to some uh, clear coat. I converted my other Sakola lighting converted. I've just been using the uh, 4000 for a primer gun. I'm using these new ones for uh, clear coat and base. The, uh, The other gun I have is for clear only, so we'll see how that works out. This one here does base coat, clear coat, whatever you want. And uh, the only difference is the cap. So I just made a mess out of that. There's more blue paint on the rag than there was in the uh, cup. 
more shaky here. I should really hook it up to air, but you know, due to time restraints, it's going right to the goodie. So let's get a filter. Some new filters yesterday. These were uh, pretty fine. That should be more than enough. Should have not mixed too much clear. I should have uh, done half that. I could do two bumpers with this. So that's no good. Maybe I'll put the residual in the uh, refrigerator. Because I'm sure I'll uh, get something today to do. All right. Might as well go ahead and put the mask on back here. Get a paper towel. Wipe the sweat off. Because you guys all say I sweat too much. We are in Florida, man. It's 110% uh, humidity. Pretty much breathe water, sweat water, or whatever. It's getting to be summer again. And with my bones and all the screws and metal that I have in me, I'd rather be sweating than uh, be cold. I, I figured that out now for sure. Cold weather's sort of hard on me now. Which really stinks because I always love the cold weather. But, uh,. One too many screw jobs for me, I guess. Too many rods. Need to get a new mask. Need to practice what I pe preach. Keep this in a plastic bag so it doesn't go bad. Once you expose them to air, they're pretty much garbage. So anyway, enough talking, let's do something. Dizzy cam. Let's paint this bumper. Looks good. One coat, one full wet coat. That's it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.